Welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. And this is my look for today's video. This is the Shiro Sozoku, or traditional attire of the Japanese Yamabushi. Yamabushi are Japanese ascetic hermits, and they basically abstain from all forms of self indulgence and they practice severe self discipline for spiritual reasons. So today I'm going to be going on a Yamabushi hike that true Yamabushis have been doing for hundreds of years on a sacred mountain, and I'll be guided by a true Yamabushi. And this is actually a tour that's available on buyfood.com. So if you want a once in a lifetime experience, go check it out in the links below. あ、こんにちは。こんにちは。初めまして。ようこそいらっしゃいました。ありがとうございます。ご苦労様です。よろしくお願いします。ありがとうございます。これからね、石段杉並木ご案内します。で、石段がね、2460段ありますから。2000?
おたち。受けたの。おお。let's go、はい。<笑> it's getting a little bit tiring。also the steps are very uneven。so you do have to be careful while you walk。but I have to say。That these tubby shoes, the Jita tubby, are very easy to climb in. It kind of feels like I'm not wearing shoes at all. Hanguru is one no saka, two no saka, three no saka. Saka has three, but the climbing is the most difficult one. Two no saka. It's not visible at the top. I can't see the top, so. We'll see. Okay, that's actually a good slogan for life. If you keep going, you'll arrive eventually. So that was our 11th. So this is 12, 13, 14, 15. We found 15 carvings. Only three more to go. I think. <laughs> If we counted correctly. Oh, we made it! Hi, it's good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so good. We did it! <laughs> oh, that、はい、was a long climb! Thank you so much! I can't believe we climbed all of those stairs! But we still have our last stop to visit. Yes, we did. ここまで登ってきて山、はいはい、伏体験をさせていただいたんですけど、うん、本物の山伏になるにはどういう修行が必要ですかあ,あのですね、1週間、この羽黒山に入部して、まあ、開放業ですね、野山を歩き回る、まあ、食事だとかね、南蛮、いぶしだとか、いろんな荒行があります。それに1週間耐えたら、山伏として認めてもらいます。大変なこと辛いことがいっぱいあるんですか<笑>、ね、若い人には食事が少ないっていうのが一番辛いみたいです、ね、それも修行のうちですから、ね、まあでも精神的にもあのあの体も強くなりますねそう,そうですでも今日本当に体験させていただいて本当にありがとうございましたといたしましてありがとうございますありがとうございますどうぞねぜひ体験してみてくださいはい This has been A remarkable experience. The hike itself was fantastic. All of the sights to see were stunning. The trees are amazing. The Tori gates, the shrines, the carvings, and the stones. There's so much to enjoy here. But I am starving, so it's time for me to enjoy the Yamabushi meal. Let's go eat. So, apparently, this is where I'm eating today. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, some of my meal is already here. Okay, so I now have my shojin dori meal. I am so hungry. Hungry is an understatement. Some of the other shojin dori's that I've had in the past, which are all vegetarian, will sometimes use things like tofu or beans to make sort of a meat like dish. But this one's a lot closer to what the traditional yamabushis used to eat. So they just ate whatever they could find. It was mostly about、um, can you eat it or not? It's not about the taste. So first, I'd like to try this one. This is called gassan dake. And it's actually named after a nearby mountain, which is also called Gassan Dake. And Dake or Take also means bamboo shoot. Mmm! It's very good. And it's very tender. And it's absorbed the flavor of the soup broth that it seems to have been stewed in, along with this shiitake mushroom and the tofu. It's a very nice, light, and almost slightly creamy broth. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is so juicy. This thick cut of tofu has absorbed all of the flavor of the soup. It's just all of the juice kind of oozes out of it when you take a bite. It's very good. Okay, next, I'd like to try the goma dofu. Goma dofu is Literally translates to a sesame tofu. But this particular one is unique to this area. It has ankake on top. Let's give it a try. The local specialty ankake goma dofu. Here we go. Mmm, that is fantastic. Typically, goma dofu doesn't have a very strong flavor on its own, so it relies on the sauce that you put on it to make it really delicious. And the ankake sauce is sweet. It's kind of like a mitarashi sauce, which is like a soy sauce mixed with sugar that you often find on Japanese desserts like dango. 
Everything is very good so far. Next, let's try the Marunasu no Dengaku. And next to it is the Gyoja Ninniku. My first time trying this. Hmm, I think the texture is kind of like spinach or bok choy or something like that. It's got a little bit of bite and crispiness to it. The sauce is fantastic. It's a really nice, sweet and savory sauce. A little heavy on the sweet side. Let's try the dengaku. Look at that, thick cut of eggplant. That's really tasty. It's a grilled eggplant, so the meat inside is super tender and creamy. The sauce is also sweet and adds an extra layer of creaminess to it. Next, I'm really excited to try this dish. This is called Buna Kanoka. It's also a mountain mushroom. And this mushroom is known for tasting like chicken. Apparently, it's so realistic and similar to chicken that some people who come here to eat this actually think that they accidentally put meat inside of this vegetarian meal. That's pretty close. And definitely if you were to mix it in with other foods, like even rice or something, I think you might not be able to tell. I think it could be a very convincing replacement for chicken. One more thing I'd like to add about the Yamabushi Shoujin Ryori is that another reason why they eat these foods is not just for sustenance, but also to help them become one with the mountain. And by eating the foods that grow on this mountain, it helps them to connect spiritually to the mountain as well and to gain power from the mountain because as you know, this hike is not easy and you really do need to replenish your power. So with that said, it's time for me to finish this meal and then go back down the mountain. So we'll see you guys down the mountain. I'm frankly quite exhausted. That was not an easy hike, but it was really, really fun. And I would wholeheartedly recommend this to anybody who wants a deeper, more historical, and even spiritual experience in Japan. And I hope you guys enjoyed following me along on this Yamagata trip as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And before we go, I'm gonna close off this video with a little Yamagata beer, and it's called Gassam beer. It's a local beer, and after a day of being super holy <laughs> and uh, doing some sacred and spiritual things, let's end it off with being a little bit sinful. Let's take a sip. Kampai, you guys, and Otsukaresama.